The Mamluk Empires. In this short video, I'm going to be introducing the Mamluk Empires. The word Mamluk comes from the Arabic word Mulk, which means property, so it was based on freed slaves. There's a huge misunderstanding of slavery within the Islamic world, and it was very different from the slavery such as in the Americas. It was not based on any particular race, and many of them consisted of prisoners of war and captives. The slaves had many rights, such as the rights to food, to clothing, and if they were given too much work, they were required to be assisted. It was not permissible to beat slaves or to kill them without any reason. The slaves or Mamluks could also buy their own freedom. Despite this, there was a lot of encouragement to free slaves. Many slaves within Islamic history have also gained very high positions, but this is a very long topic, so for further details, please check out the links in the description box below. There were a number of Mamluk empires, most notably the Mamluk Sultanate in Egypt. There were many Mamluks during the time of the Abbasids in Iraq. However, following the invasion of the Mongols under the leadership of Hulaku Khan, they burnt down the city, so many of the Mamluks escaped to Egypt and formed the empire there with their capital in Cairo. There were a number of successful Mamluk leaders, such as Babers, who was a freed slave of Turkic origin. He managed to defeat a number of crusaders, such as during the time of King Louis IX of France. He also defeated a number of Mongol invaders in Syria. Another successful Mamluk leader was Shajar al-Dur, who was the first female monarch in Islamic history. There is some dispute about where she was originally from, some think that she was of Turkic origin and others think that she was from Armenia. This is a picture of her tomb. The Mamluks also developed areas of architecture, so this is an example of a mosque from the outside and from the inside. They also developed areas of art, so these are examples of household items during the time of the Mamluks. There were other Mamluk empires, such as the Mamluk dynasty, which founded the Sultanate of Delhi in India. This was founded by Qutbuddin Aybak, who was a freed slave of Turkic origin. Nowadays, one of the things that he is perhaps most famous for is the construction of the Qutb Minar in Delhi. Perhaps one of the most famous leaders was Razia Sultana, who ruled the whole region by herself for about four years. In fact, coins were made with her name minted on them. There were a number of other Mamluk empires, such as in the region of Iraq during the time of the Ottoman Empire. Also, the Ottoman Empire ruled Egypt following the Mamluk Sultanate there. For further details on the Ottoman Empire, please watch my other videos about them. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Please like and share my video and subscribe to my channel.